My name is Devon Cook and today I'm going to show you how to renew your Texas real estate license including all of the education you're going to have to take and all of the costs involved. As you probably already know, in the state of Texas, you have to renew your real estate license every two years and that's regardless of whether you have an active or an inactive license. If you have an inactive license, you still have to renew your license every two years otherwise you will lose your license and you're going to have to take your 180 hour course all over again if you want to get your real estate license back after you lost it. And today I'm not going to cover the SAE course that you have to take as your first renewal. I'm just going to be covering your typical every two year renewal as a real estate licensee. And I'll be making another video about the SAE course and how to go through that process. So to renew your license, you're going to have to take 18 hours of Trek course approved continuing education classes. And that's going to include eight hours of the legal updates one and two from Trek. And both of those courses, you're going to have a test at the end of the course and you have to have a 70 percent or above in order to pass. If you don't pass it after the second time, you're going to have to redo each of those courses. You're also going to have three hours of contract related coursework and then seven hours of elective coursework. And in total, that's going to make up your 18 hours of coursework. And there's a lot of different places you can go in order to take this CE course. But I chose to go with Aceable Agent. They're who I use to get my licensing course and I'm using them for my continuing education as well. Now, all you're going to have to do is go over to aceableagent.com use my link down below and then what you're going to do is you're going to go over to more courses continuing education and you're going to come down here to the Texas continuing education course and you're going to see that you have a couple of different options you can do just the legal update bundle or you can do the entire course and you can do that for $89 or 45 for just the legal update bundle I did the 18 hours because it's easier just to do it all in one place but if you just need the legal update because maybe you're taking some classes for free at your brokerage that's a great option as well then what you're going to see once you've logged on is you're going to see all of your courses legal update one and two the new one to four family contract residential real estate sales techniques and negotiation and texas risk reduction and these are all of the courses that you're going to need to take diving into one of these courses you can see how it's outlined you basically have all of the different things that you're going to go through if i click on one of them you can see when does an offer become a contract and then you're just going to basically be going through this content right here you read through everything you get some pop quizzes during the course as well to kind of help your retention and your memory and then each of these three courses down here, you're going to have a test at the end of the course. However, it's not timed versus these legal updates one and two. You do have a timed exam at the end of the course, but don't worry about those exams. You get multiple attempts. I believe you get two attempts for each exam. You have to get a 70% or above. And if you don't pass after the second attempt, you have to go through the course again, and then you can retake the test after that. Then what's going to happen once you've completed all of your courses, you're going to come up here to the records tab you're going to click on that and you're going to see that you have all of your certificates for your texas real estate license continuing education that was a mouthful now i would suggest that you save these certificates for your records however aceable already goes and uploads these to the trek website and so they're already posted with trek and you don't have to do anything after you completed your course and you checked that all of your education did post on the trek website under your license name you're going to go onto the trek website you're going to renew your license and you're going to pay a $110 renewal fee. This is a renewal fee that you have to pay even if your license is inactive. Although if your license is inactive and you still want to renew it, you do not have to take this continuing education. You just pay the $110 fee. So all in to renew your license, you're in for about $200 with the fee to Trek and the course. You spent about 18 hours or so doing the courses. And how long realistically does it take you to do this? Well, in my experience, a couple of days. You can probably do it in two or three days if you just spend some time going through all of the documents, doing the quizzes, and then taking the exams. Two or three days and you'll be done with the course. Let me know if you have any questions down below or via my email.